Okay, welcome. And before we can even get started with this and start making our art and doing things like that, we need some like the most basic prerequisites. So there's three things we kind of sort of need to do anything. And that's first, obviously, we need a computer. And hopefully you'll have one that's a little more modern and up to date than this. These kids are probably in their 50s now, I'm guessing. And this is a pretty ancient uh, computer. So you can have a PC or a Mac, either one's going to work, but you need try and have one that's, you know, up to, as up to date as possible, because some of the processes that we do are going to be pretty simple, but some of them are going to use a lot of processing. So the more up to date your system, the better. And then in addition to this, we need a way to draw. So I just looked on Amazon at some tablets. You can look elsewhere. There's plenty of places that sell them and you don't need to spend a fortune. You can just get like a really basic one to start with because really you don't want to use the mouse to draw. It's just going to not have the same options and the same abilities that a, a tablet has. And like even one of these simple ones, like for under $50, you can get a decent one and it'll be better than the, the most, the worst tablet will be better than the best mouse because the tablet will have pen pressure and you'll just get used to it and it'll be like writing and it'll have way more um, kind of flexibility and possibilities for your art. So do get a tablet or some some kind of device that'll let you draw in your program. It's, it's pretty essential. I'm not going to endorse any particular brand. I've been using one, uh, the one I've been using, I think I bought it for about $60 five years ago and it's held up very well. It hasn't, uh, I haven't had any issues really, just need to keep the, the drivers up to date and uh, your settings. We'll, we'll look later how we can adjust settings for the pen, but there's really a lot of things that it can do. It's, a, it's an amazing thing, so look around. There's tons of electronics retailers that sell these and uh, they're pretty great. And then in addition to this, we need, of course, the software. <clears throat> I'm on the Smith Micro website. They are the ones that sell Clip Studio Paint, aka Manga Studio. And there's two versions that they sell, the EX version and the Pro version. And just so you know that uh, Clip Studio Paint and Manga Studio, they're, they're pretty much the same software. This is the old name, and they updated the name to this, and they haven't quite succeeded in totally rebranding it, so they're, they're still using both names. But if you buy it through their website, it's going to be this Clip Studio Paint that you're buying. But... For all intents and purposes, it's the same thing as Manga Studio 5. That being said, there are two versions of this. There's the EX version and the Pro version, and there's a significant price difference. The EX version runs for about 210 at least through their website, and the Pro version goes for about, what is it, 40 48 yeah. So a big price difference, and the biggest uh, kind of feature difference between the two is that the, um, if, well, you can see... If you click this tab compare, it'll show all the differences. But the biggest feature that I can see is that the EX version, the more expensive one, will let you make a multiple page story and keep that as one file. So like you have a 40 page story and it'll just kind of house it in one collective file. Whereas the pro version will only let you make one page at a time and save those pages one page at a time. So we'll look at later how you can still make a, a, a PDF or a CVZ file using that and just taking the pages one at a time. But if you're going to be working with a lot of longer stories, I probably would recommend the EX version. Now, that being said, I would definitely either way, whatever, wherever you're buying it, look around for, you know, coupon codes, look around for, it may be cheaper to buy the physical copy. Just, you just kind of have to jump around and see you as the best price because this may not necessarily be the best price so yeah take your keep your eye out for a lower price if you can <laughs> there are versions for both pc and mac as you can see or windows and mac i should say and uh yeah they're they're it's a i think it'll be an investment that you won't regret it's a great program and i'm very happy with it so once you have it all set up we can get started and uh Oh, before we go on, actually, even if you do get it set up, you want to go back here to their website and look under resources. This is on the, the tab for this resources. And you want to go down to docs, I'm sorry, to updates. And 
whichever version you have, go here and update because there are fixes and, you know, any glitches in the software, they'll have updated to the latest version. So, so once you have all these updates installed, we can start opening up our program.